Toy. Ten. Twa. Twa. Troys. Menage a Troys? Yeah. Menage a Troys. That's where you two ladies come back with me, eh? Okay, we're back on the haunted ship. Welcome back to the brothers of the balcony. <sighs> Let me turn my controller back on. There we go. We are going to go up these stairs. Yeah, we're going to venture to the top of this spaceship, I believe. Actually, we're going to go in here and see what what sort of other spooky stuff they have to offer. Oh, yes, I can't get through this without the gravity suit. Gravity. Gravity suit. Oh, hey, yes. I kind of get how the virus suit would work. It's insulation. How the fuck does the gravity the, suit the work? The virus suit? The various suit. Various suit. I guess it could be various suit. I don't, I don't know. The variable suit. Yeah. Is what I always thought. Gravity suit is magical. That's how it works. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's all you know. Ed. What's the word? Cryptic bullshit. Uh, magical sci-fi wizardry. Oh shit! I forgot about you bastards. Fuck you guys. I see a crossover between aliens and Metroid. That would be cool. Especially if they did like an old school 16-bit looking one, where you would just be in like a dark ship and no, that was fantastic. Xenomorphs come like scooting at you. Scoot. Scooty scoot. I do like how good they made the. Uh... Damn, those guys take two super missiles. That's a bad dude. How good they made what now? Um, ev well, everything look in. Alien Isolation. Yeah, Alien Isolation is fantastic. If you guys haven't played it yet, I highly recommend picking it up if you have the means. And if uh, those kind of games aren't your sort of thing, shout out to who we watched play it, Mr. Halloween4545. Yes, he is a fantastic horror Let's Player. I think I like him the best. <clears throat> yeah, somehow he manages to keep talking the entire time. I don't think I could pull it off. Not by myself, no. Hard. There's just not that much to say. He narrates what he's what he's doing, but it never seems to get old, and he seems to be able to keep up talking about what's going on instead yeah. of just saying, "Hey, that happened." Well, he's British, so I suppose I suspect that has something to do with it. <laughs> they can just prattle on with the best of them. Win <laughs> give it a good whinge. Give it a good whinge. That, well, that, that's actually a big chunk of what he does is complain about it, but he does so in a really entertaining way. Also, again, British, so it's just endearing. <laughs> oh, he's delightful. <laughs> Robot! No, sir! Oh, I think... No, I'm thinking about Norfair. No, actually, no, this might be the place I'm thinking about. Actually, no, Robot, keep coming this way. Meep, meep. Don't you give me that sass? <clears throat> That's fine, go in there. And you go over there. Yeah! Yeah, yeah robot! <laughs> Down the hole. Yeah, roll hard. Lock the play. Yeah, Goop. robot. There's one cool area, and I think it might be this one that you get to ride one of those Chozo statues across a bunch of spikes. I think that oh, might be yeah. down in Norfair, though. You like is the little as a ball. Yeah. You get to ride around as a ball. It is not this area. That seemed like a lot to go through for missiles. Yeah. That's one of the little pitfalls of this game, is sometimes you feel like you go through a odd amount of effort for not a lot of reward. So why did I do all that? Because we put it here. You don't have to play. You can go back to, you know, 
playing World of Warcraft. Staring at the damn wall. I'm sorry if you do play World of Warcraft. It's Me. just not my bag anymore. I have been WoW clean since 2006. I am a much more recent um, addict. I played... I played Cataclysm, I guess. I, I fired it back up. I quit. Wrath of the Lich King. When 10 manning Oladar was a big deal. So real early in uh, Wrath of the Lich King. Ten manning raids. Yeah, man, I was raiding every night. Lean and, gear. and I was getting fucking fat and gross and not doing Noobs. a goddamn thing. I stopped doing that. Putting that college education to work. <sighs> Wee. I don't know where this is taking us, but it seems important. Do, 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 do. Scoot, scoot, scoot. Scooty Puff Jr. sucks. So, uh, off to your right, you'll see, um, oh, hey. Um, <laughs> well, <laughs> off to your right, you'll see me derping it up. Uh, derping it up. Derping it up on the balcony, brothers. Derping it up. <laughs> Talking about fucking up. Talking about making a mess of this let's play. Talking it up. Fucking it up What's on the bur uh, the bur yeah What's the Barry Gibb talk show. The Barry Gibb talk show. What's that from? Uh, that was a Saturday Night Live skit. That's right. Okay. I want <laughs> fucking <laughs> really. <laughs> it's just missiles. I don't care that much. No. Fuck that shit. <laughs> Fucking really. No, it was a it was a Saturday Night Live skit. They had Justin Timberlake on there, and it was him and um, who's that guy that's got a talk show now? Um, Jimmy Fallon. Oh. Yeah, Jimmy Fallon was Barry Gibb, and uh, who, Justin Timberlake who, was Robin Gibb. Who is? Are these actual? Yeah, Barry Gibb is uh, from the Bee Gees, man. Oh yeah, that's right. Okay. I was trying to remember what the reference there was. I don't watch, I never watched that much SNL. And it was funny because apparently whenever the Bee Gees were big and they would do interviews, Barry would do all of the talking. <laughs> I mean, it was his band, the Bee Gees, Barry Gibb. It's my band. And he's kind of, he's like that in the whole skit. This is my show, and it's a no-nonsense show. And <laughs> Robin the whole time doesn't hardly say anything. <laughs> do you have anything to add, Robin? No. No, I don't. That's right. <laughs> Me and my brother will put you in the ground. I'm Barry effing Gib. <laughs> oh, for God's sake. <laughs> oh, here we go. Yeah. Ride this guy. Oh, I'm going to ride him. Ride him hard. Chozo. Creepy bird motherfucker. Creepy bird faced motherfucker. He's like, oh, it's so cute. I'm gonna walk over here with it. Just do 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 do. Crunch, 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 crunch. With my giant muscular bird legs. Bird feet! Birdman, get in here! Ha <laughs> ha! Did you get that thing I sent you? Ha <laughs> ha! Cookies on dowels. <laughs> what? You don't remember that on Harvey Birdman? No. Come on, man. Phil Ken Sebin, his boss. Yeah, I remember He's that. giving him, like, the, um... He sends him a cookie bouquet. Oh, yeah. The ha, ha! Cookies on dowels. It's cute. Oh, you know what's in here, dog? No. It's alien technology. It's not of this world. It rode in on the alien spaceship. It's... The gravity suit. Oh, shit. A little harmony for you guys. What did that feel? It's also psychedelic purple. It's going to wow. <laughs> oh, yeah, dog. Oh, no, no, let me back. Damn it. <sighs> there was a thing down there. And now the door is gray. Yeah, which means I got to go the long way. I guess it's not terrible now. I had to come back in here anyway. Cack. There was some gravity suit business to be taken care of. I'll just make sure to go back out that way. I was supposed to remind you to save at some point. Yes, and I did. I did. Glad you remembered an episode later. I don't remember! <laughs> I eventually remembered that's what's important. That's that's right, man. You helped. 
I helped. Yay. Yay. Fuck you, thing. That was the. Come uh, over and get you some. That was the. Yeah. Noise. <laughs> that was the noise my Outlook made for a long time when I'd get an email. Uh, did you ever watch Crank Anchors? Yeah. I got mailed. Yay. Yay. But yeah, uh, apparently that's not work appropriate. Really? <laughs> I would not have guessed. You're doing excellent with these spikes here, man. Yeah. My you. whole perspective on terrain traps is if I got the health, I'm just gonna run over it. <laughs> because. Me, the difference between me trying to get past that and saying fuck it and running through it is about the same health-wise, <laughs> but it saves a lot more time if I just don't bother. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> you, you, you I suck. No, it's... <laughs> man. I suck, man. No, it's, it's good. I suck, man. I suck. Don't, don't believe in yourself. Believe in me. Who believes in you? But I don't believe in you either. Man. Yes, ma'am. Really? Really? I don't remember coming. Oh, okay. Yeah, this big freaky triangle looking at this. Uh, oh shit! There's spikes down there. Okay. I guess I should have known that. They're not just gonna put a pit. No, it's got to be a punishment pit. <laughs> Yeah, you can you can ride that down to the bottom. What's up? See, sometimes I know what I'm doing. In OG tank. Yay, full health. Yeah? No? Are we gonna? Nah. No? Okay. You don't, get a, you don't get a ride here. Fine. I didn't want one anyway. We. We Zap. Hell yeah. I made short work of that room, son. It's good. See, I can do some things, I just can't seem to hack like spike traps. To be fair, platforming in this game is a bit fiddly, what with the the jump. Yeah, the spin jump. It's a bit fiddly. Yeah, the game was kind of designed around the idea of having the space jump, but you don't get that until a lot later. That's most literary, yes. I don't actually know what's over here. Wee Stuff. Wee I have all the major stuff, so anything that I'm, like, chasing item-wise is pretty much just gonna be... Plasma beam. No, we get plasma beam Mer after Meridia, I believe, towards the end of it. I was just trying to name stuff you don't have. Spring ball, space jump. We get space... Do you no. get the screw attack in this one? Yes. It's screw attack is, like, late. the last yeah. thing you get because it's, like, the god weapon. Yeah, I just jump through everything now. Suck it. Is this taking us out of the ship? Because I don't want to leave the ship yet. Where are we going? Yeah, I'm not going to Meridia yet. Sorry, guys. <clears throat> but we have to. Yeah, well, I want to go back here and figure out what was in the other room of that little thingamajig first. After the little dude carried us down, I was looking around with the x-ray beam, and I noticed that there's like a... There was a little block thing I could have blown out, and I thought it was the way to get back out, but then, after the gravity suit, there was another door, and I kept going, and, well, here we are. <laughs> yeah. Wee! Oh. Wee! Fuck you, things. I'm about to kill a shitload of you in Meridia. Yeah. Hello. Jumpy, floaty, manta ray looking fuckers. You killed Steve Irwin. <laughs> That's for Steve! Blimey! Holy shit, I'm gonna be screaming that all through Meridia. Crikey, is a big one! You right, see bastards! <laughs> yep, here, yep, okay, great. Okay, we got this, we, no. Uh, what the hell happened? And we're back! Or something. I don't know what the fuck just happened. Um, it doesn't look like it stopped recording, so, uh... 
good, I guess. Grand. We need to figure out what the hell that is. No, that was the PC going to sleep. Yeah, we need to fix that. And by we, I mean you. Make your computer behave. <laughs> Make that bitch behave. Make that bitch behave. If she want excitement, she can take her ass to the movies. <laughs> a pimp named Slickback. Now, Slickback, no. No, it's a pimp named Slickback. It's like the whole a title. Thing. You say the whole thing. <laughs> wasn't the gravity suit out? It was out this way, wasn't it? Alrighty. Done. Fuck you guys! I don't have to fight you suckers. This door is gonna be open, so fuck it. Alrighty, when we come back, everybody, we are going to retraverse this, go figure out what the little missile thing was, and then I guess we'll go to Meridia. But first, we gotta go to my dad's house and eat pork roast. Hell yeah, pork roast. See you guys next episode. Later. <laughs>